Hey y'all, today I'll be reviewing a wig from Ozo Wig. I'm just showing you guys the box. I love the construction of the box. And on the side of the box, it tells you all of the specs of the hair. And look at it, it's even a magnet clothes type of box. Inside the box, you get a wig cap and a comb. And then of course, on the inside of the box, it's in this nice golden satin bag that has tassels at the end. Their packaging is amazing. So this is what the actual wig looks like right out of the box and they even have an extra tag that lets you know it's Ozo wigs just in case you didn't know so um I'm gonna start off by actually bleaching my knots here's an up close look the reason why you bleach your knots is so that you don't have those little black dots it just makes it look more natural so I'm gonna flip it upside down on my mannequin head and I'm just gonna secure it with some t-pins and then I'm gonna mix my uh, Clairol BW2 and my 30 volume developer together until it's like a nice thick paste. Um, I know it's the perfect consistency whenever I can hold it on the back of my spoon and it doesn't um, fall. So I'm lightly patting it on the uh, wig and I'm making sure that it doesn't seep through anything. That's why it needs to be super thick so it doesn't over bleach. Once I rinsed the bleach out, you saw how it looked. The uh, knots were a lot lighter. So the next step, I am going to tint my lace. I put that Adore color inside of a really hot bowl of water. I popped it in the microwave for about two minutes so that it can be really hot and I let it sit in the bowl of water for about 10 minutes so that the lace can turn a darker color and it can match my skin tone. Now I'm customizing my hairline by plucking out the uh, hair along the hairline so it could look a lot more natural. You saw at first it was kind of straight across. Actually, the hairline wasn't too thick, but I like it to be, you know, even more natural looking. So I'm going in with my tweezers and I'm just going in. Um, the pattern I go is like a skip pattern. So I just skip around and just pluck all over the place until I like the way that it looks. So I do some parting, um, I pluck just in different areas and this is how it looked at the end. I actually could have plucked it a little bit more but um, I didn't need to do too much because I wasn't going to really have my edges showing since it's a bob hairstyle and I'm just going to have it down. So I was showing you guys that this uh, wig comes with four combs. It has a comb in the middle, two on the side, one on the bottom and then it also has an adjustable strap. Um, it's lace in the front and then it's wefted at the back. I cut my lace off camera. I just cut it um, across but kind of in like a zigzag motion so it can look a bit more natural. That's what my hairline looks like up close. So as usual I'm adding the guys to be free spray. I think that's the easiest way to lay down my wig and um, I'm just gonna you know put it in place. Um, I use my comb so that I can push the hair down and then I also use my blow dryer to make sure everything um, sticks. Now I'm just defining my part and going through and flat ironing my hair. You'll see when I add the flat iron, the hair really comes to life. It gives it like, I don't know, this beautiful shine and it looks, starts to look so bouncy and so pretty. Watch, you gonna see, you gonna see. Here's an up close look at my hairline. It looks pretty natural, if I must say so myself. This wig does have flyaways, as you can see, they're sticking straight up. So to fix that, I'm gonna go in with my Cream of Nature mousse, and I'm just gonna apply that right at the roots. I don't go all the way down the hair, just at the roots so I can tame the flyaways, and I'm just brushing it a little while afterward, and voila, voila. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trophy, and today I'm rocking a gorgeous, gorgeous bob that I'm so in love with. This bob is from Ozo Wigs. And my favorite part of it is obviously the color. I love this. It's like a brownish chestnut blonde type of color. And um, when I first opened it coming out of the box, I was a little scared because I didn't think it was going to look good on my skin tone. Because it kind of looked a little brassy before I washed it and everything. But after I washed it, flat ironed it, tried it on, it looks really, really good on my skin tone. And I am absolutely in love with it. I love the cut of it as well. I didn't do anything to it as far as cutting it. I didn't clip the ends. 
I didn't do any layers, anything like that. This is just the original cut, the way that it came out of the box, which is perfection. Like, look at that. Perfection. Wow. Oh, and look how the color, like, just catches with the light. It's so pretty. It's so vibrant. The hair looks really, really healthy. I love it. The length of it is 16 inches. And as you can see, it's a little longer on this side than it is on this side. Um, the construction of this cap is impeccable. It is amazing. It seems like it's really, well, it's not, it seems like it's good quality. It's really, really good quality. And I love the way that it is made. It just says that it's virgin human hair. So I don't know the exact type of human hair it is, but to me, it feels like my favorite texture, which is Peruvian hair, just because of the thickness of it and the fact that it kind of mimics the texture of my hair when it's straightened. Um, I don't think it's Peruvian hair though, but it feels really, really thick and nice just like that. I'm at a loss for words. Like the wig is so nice. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. The wig is nice, y'all. Like, okay, Ozo wigs. The wig density is 130%, and I think this is a true 130%. If not, maybe even a little more because it feels really, really thick. So, I love the fact that they give you a lot of hair. All right, so let's go through the pros of the hair. The very first pro, obviously, is the color. The color is amazing. It's perfect for summer. I think it just matches my skin tone perfectly. So if you're a brown girl, this color is definitely brown girl friendly. It just looks really, really good. And it kind of makes, like, it brings out your skin tone. It makes you look a little bit more brighter and radiant, which I really, really love. Um, like the highlights and everything are spot on. At the roots, obviously, it's like a dark color, like a 1B and natural type of color. And then as it goes down, it gets to be this light brown color, which is really, really pretty. So I love that about it. I absolutely love the cut. The cut is spot on. It's perfect for summer. It's really, really pretty. This is what I consider a long bob. It goes all the way down to here on this side and right to here. So this is what the cut looks like at the back. Another pro is the movement of the hair. It has so much movement and so much body, which I absolutely love. So it just moves with you. It's really, really pretty. As far as shedding, I didn't receive any shedding. Like I said in previous videos, when you wear a bob, you should not experience any shedding. Like whatsoever because it's a shortcut there's no reason for it to be shed especially if it's straight like this like why would it shed and why would it tangle there's no reason so um no tangling no shedding anything like that as you can see i could just run my fingers through it for days and days and days and i'll be just fine it has so much movement so much body it's gorgeous. I have one con, which is really not a con at all, because I've noticed that with most of my wigs, they all have this, which is the um, the flyaways. So I do have some flyaways. I kind of tamed them with my mousse, and that's usually what I do to all my wigs. I just put on a little mousse and I tame it. And after a while, once you wear a wig for like days and days and days and weeks and weeks and weeks, the flyaways, they pretty much start to train themselves and they don't fly or like away. <laughs> that's why they call it flyaways. <laughs> I'm so corny. I'm sorry, y'all. After you wear a wig for a while, the flyaways usually just, um, you know, start to lay down and train because it gets used to the way that you wear your hair. So, And another really, really big pro is the fact that I have a coupon code. So if you guys want to get this wig or any other wig off the website, you can use my coupon code, which is TROFDOFE, and you get $40 off a wig. Yes, $40 off a wig. That is so good. So definitely make sure you use that code so you can save your coins all right you guys so that concludes this wig review i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely go check out ozowigs.com and don't forget to use my coupon code as always i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye